Nicole Kidman. <laughs> We have been waiting for this one for a long time. The WBC, the WBO, Ring Magazine, Junior Lightweight Championship of the World, Oscar Valdez, Shakur Stevenson. We will be bringing up both of those champions momentarily. But it all goes down Saturday, April 30th, MGM Grand Garden Arena here in beautiful Las Vegas, Nevada. Feels great to be back after a trip over the pond to London. The undercards begin at 3.30 Pacific on ESPN+. Plus. And then our three featured fights on the network ESPN and ESPN Deportes at 7 p.m. Pacific. A huge middleweight showdown, Alejandro Ibarra versus Nico Ali Walsh. And a lightweight showdown, Esteban Sanchez versus Keyshawn Davis. Bob, this is a great card. We're in Vegas. We are back. A huge fight. How are you feeling? Well, I really feel uh, terrific. And, and uh, again, this shows how boxing uh, uh, should be produced. You'll see in the main event two fighters uh, who fight all of their professional fights uh, with top rank now facing off against each other. And on my right, we have two uh, in quote, prospects, uh, one of whom uh, has had extensive amateur background and is considered uh, by many to be uh, the best amateur coming out of the United States in many years, in Keyshawn Davis, and the other, uh, a young man who had very little amateur experience, uh, but now has undertaken uh, the task of making himself uh, a, a great fighter in the professional ranks and with the idea of making his late grandfather the first fighter I've ever promoted, Muhammad Ali Brown. Uh, you know, looking down from above, Nico Ali Walsh. Uh, and that's really a great boxing stories. Uh, and we'll see that unfold uh, on Saturday night. Nico, I want to start with you down at the end. It's your hometown. Here we are, Las Vegas MGM Grand Garden Arena. How you feeling? Honestly, I feel amazing. Uh, I think we all know at this point that the main event is probably going to be one of the fights of the year. Um, just extremely talented fighters, so just being a part of it is, is a huge honor, and I'm very glad to, to be fighting here at my hometown. Listen, you had a big, big knockout in Tulsa in January, a close fight in December. What changed between those fights, and what can we expect Saturday night? Yeah, well, you know, um, everyone has tough fights at some point in their career. I'm glad I was able to get that experience early on, and I was able to come back stronger, and you saw that in, in my fight in January. So now I've had the time to spar some of the best guys in the world, and uh, I'm, I'll, I'm back. So this time around, I'll be able to showcase more than I did in January. Alejandro Ibarra, probably your tough, toughest opponent to date chose not to be here today. Uh, maybe sending a message, trying to mess with your head a little bit. You've been able to watch some tape on him. Is he the toughest opponent to date for you? Um, that's definitely not sending a message, not showing up. I mean, that's, uh, if anything, that's not good on, on him. But, you know, it is what it is. Uh, I don't know if he'll be my toughest opponent. You find out uh, when you're in the ring. And uh, like Mike Tyson said, everyone's got a plan until they get punched. So we'll see. Nico, I'm excited to see you Saturday night in the ring. We'll see you tomorrow. Wayne's right beside you, Keyshawn Davis. Keyshawn, your last fight at Madison Square Garden, and now we're here at MGM Grand Garden. What does fighting on stages like this uh, mean to you? How exciting is this? Oh, honestly, I just would like to keep the perform performances going. Um, ever since, you know, people put their attention on me, I just felt like I've been rising to the occasion every single time. And um, every time I get in the ring, um, I put on spectacular performances and just expect another spectacular performance on Saturday night. 
um, as well as the main event, my brother Shakur Stevenson. Me and him been sharing this dream for years now, and um, I'm just excited to be fighting alongside him. Do you feel any pressure? You mentioned Shakur, and I know you guys are tight. Do you feel any pressure that he's fighting right after you to put on a, an impressive performance on such a big stage? Um, honestly, no. Um, I'm just go out there and do what I do. And I feel like when I do what I do, then it's going to be a spectacular performance, um, as, as well as Shakur. So. I want to welcome in your opponent here, Esteban Sanchez, 18 and 1, 8 knockouts. Guardy sitting beside you to do some translating. This is your first fight in the United States. First fight on a stage like this. How do you keep the pressure under wraps? Sí, eh, es la primera vez que voy a pelear aquí en Estados Unidos y estoy muy emocionado. Eh, ¿Por qué? Porque es la primera, por ejemplo, también la primera ocasión que voy a pelear en el Grand de Las Vegas. Para mí siempre ha sido un sueño, a, tanto como para cualquier boxeador que va empezando, eh, quiero pelear en el MGM Grand de Las Vegas, ¿no? Entonces estoy muy emocionado y sí, gracias a Dios, me, no me ha afectado mucho el escenario, entonces estamos muy contentos. The big stage doesn't impress me, like, uh, you know, this is my first time. Uh, fighting in Las Vegas, my first time uh, fighting in the United States and MGM. Uh, but it has been my dream, like any other fighter, to fight at the MGM. What do you bring to the table that can stop Keyshawn? Realmente vamos a hacer una estrategia de trabajo que llevamos tiempo trabajando con mi coach Joe Vargas. Y pues el sábado vamos a hacer nuestro trabajo, al igual que Keyshawn va a hacer su trabajo. Entonces, que sea una gran pelea para todo el público. We have been working on a uh, good strategy with my uh, trainer Joe Vargas uh, for a long time and I'm going to do the work in the ring. I'm sure uh, Keyshawn is going to do his work the same way, so the best man is going to win. You have been in camp since the start of the year with a new trainer. What differences will we see uh, from the first 19 fights that we've been able to watch? <laughs> Eh, pues más que nada, eh, mucha estrategia, mucha técnica, mucho cerebro. En México hay demasiado corazón. También lo vamos a traer, entonces todo eso lo vamos a combinar para una gran pelea. Uh, it will be a lot of uh, technique, a lot of strategy. Uh, and we're going to combine all that with, uh, with my heart. And we're going to come up victorious on Saturday. Thank you very much. We're really looking forward to this fight Saturday night. Keyshawn, one last question for you. Uh, earlier in the week, this gentleman right here, probably the greatest boxing promoter of all time was on a conference call and compared you to Sugar Ray. What's the first thing that pops into your head when you hear those words coming from a man like Mr. Bob Arum? I should have come back out and keep fighting with that fro, <laughs> just like Sugar Ray. But, <laughs> but um, honestly, it really means a lot. Um, when he said that, um, I never looked at myself like Sugar Ray, but when he said that, I started watching more Sugar Ray, you know, how he carried himself and how he fight and stuff like that. And um, I'm just really just trying to learn from the best. And like you said, Bob Aaron is one of the greatest, as well as Sugar Ray. So I just went back to the drawing boards again, like I always do, and you know, just trying to learn from the best. Well, listen, fireworks Saturday night expected from both Nico, Keyshawn, and Esteban, thank you guys for spending some time with us. Before we bring up our main event, we're gonna let these gentlemen have a face-off for the first time this week before they see each other again tomorrow at Wayans. Esteban, we're gonna ask you to come down here. Keyshawn as well. Bob, hang tight and we'll bring up the main event.
free to hit the like, subscribe, and share. As always, if you want to support us to the next level, head over to the patreon.com backslash the boxing voice. We have tons of exclusive from Border Wars, Entitled, Betting Shows, the list goes on and on and on. But in addition to that, if you guys have questions for fighters, trainers, and promoters, this is where you can submit them. We will run out, get these questions answered, and put it back on the show just for you guys. Appreciate it. Peace.